Yes. Team, are you able to see the screen? Yeah, thanks. So uh, some members need to join. Uh, meanwhile, we will continue the class. They will join in the middle. Okay, fine. So first, uh, come with the. Just I will explain you uh, some basic understanding of the current transformer and potential transformer. As we discussed, just uh, if you recall our uh, project, uh, a 200 megawatt of wind power plant, we are having 33 kV feeders. Uh, we discussed in our early classes that each 33 kV feeder of uh, which is feeding from the wind farm is, uh, is generating 20 megawatt of power in 33 kV voltage level. So if you find the current here, it's coming to nearly suppose a 400 amps. Let's assume a 400 amps. Now, we discussed if a fault occurred in my system. So suppose a fault occurred in this feeder, obviously the other, the generators which are at both sides of this feeder, or contributing the fault. This is an infinite grid. And these are my generators. All these are feeding the fault to, to here. And now the current which is flowing in this feeder will not be 400, will be definitely more than the 400 amps. It seems that if any abnormal, uh, suppose it seems there is some abnormality in the system because the current has risen beyond its load, beyond its rated value of 400. So when this scenario, when this uh, condition is happening, then I have to open up the breaker and I have to isolate my healthy system from the faulty system. So to, have, to isolate the healthy system from the faulty system, the relay has to detect that an abnormality was occurred, occurred in the system. So how the relay will notice that? So there should be an equipment that should continuously monitoring the current magnitude and there should be an equipment that should continuously monitoring the voltage magnitude in the system. So, and it has to give the output to that relay. Then the relay will check. Oh, uh, so we will give some, we will build some algorithm inside the relay. And the relay will notice that, okay, there is some abnormality in the system with respect to the current or voltage or case of both, either maybe. So a relay is a small equipment, which is electronic equipment, which cannot handle high voltages and high currents. So, we have to provide a low voltage, low current signal to the relay, which is again uh, relative to the higher uh, to this 400 amps on to, uh, to the 33 kV. So there should be an equipment that has to transform the voltage or current from higher magnitude to the lower magnitude. So that equipment, that instrument, that measuring instrument, we are calling it as a instrument transformers. The instrument transformers are of two types. One is a voltage transformer or potential transformer. And the other one is a current transformer. So these equipments will, fun will do the transformation of voltages from our currents from higher magnitude to the lower magnitude. So the current transformer is 
transforming the current means stepping down the current magnitudes from higher current magnitude to the lower ones similarly the potential transformers the potential transformers the voltage transformers are again similar of our power transformers so now here you can see a uh, circuit drawing here where this is the line 33 kb line always the voltage transformers are connecting in a parallel to the line because voltage will be calculated phase to ground and the current transformer is connected series to the line to calculate the line currents so this is the current and this is the voltage voltage transformer and this is the current transformer both are connected to some watt meters or relays or ammeter voltmeter whatever application you are having you have to connect this so why i am required this current transformer voltage transformer one is for to protect the system by monitoring the current and voltage signals other one is to know how much power you have sent to the grid for a tariff metering what we discussed in our earlier classes about the abt metering or uh, availability based tariff metering metering so uh, for the for the metering purpose again we required the voltage and current signals uh, which is passing uh, which uh, required to calculate the active power reactive power things and based on that active power and number of units consumed or the number of units generated the grid person means the other sub, the the load person will pay amount to uh, to us based on the amount based on the units generated or kwh number of units generated so to again to know to calculate the uh, active power reactive power and energy again we required a current transformer and potential transformer so in a short the current transformer and potential transformer are required for both two purposes one is for the metering other one is for the protection one is for the metering other one is for the protection so please remember this and now let's go to the first current transformer and then followed by the potential transformer come to the current transformer we are having a three types of four types of uh, current transformers in this uh, these are you can see mostly in the low voltage applications you can these see these types of transformers a window transformer wound transformer or uh, wound current transformer or bar type transformer and uh, in the substations you can see this transformer uh, which is a conventional uh, tra conventional transformer or like oil tank or it's a live tank or dead tank uh, current transformer so first we will see this uh, and uh, our analysis always be uh, respect to the substation designing uh, so we will go and find figure out uh, the sizing and selection of this transformer and the calculation everything will remain same for all types of transformers come to the wound transformers this transformer the primary winding is physically connected in series with the uh, series with the conductor carrying or measuring the current flow in the circuit the magnitude of the secondary current is depends upon the turns ratio of the transformer this is a, a general a wound transformer and uh, this is a, a window transformer can also be called a toroidal transformer where it, this is inserted to the primary conductor bar uh, so it works on a like uh, the current which is passing through that uh, line is uh, measuring there is a no primary winding here so primary winding itself is a conductor which will be inserted in this uh, one so uh, the current will be calculated the secondary current will be calculated from this 